Hey, bless up, bless up, fam. Fam, those of you all that are fam, right? Some of y'all, y'all just here waiting for an answer, or waiting for conflict, or waiting for a response, waiting for a reaction. It's getting so challenging dropping videos, fam. It's so many people out here in these YouTube streets that are angry, frustrated, mad. It's just, they really are like positive energy suckers. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you thriving. They don't want you surviving. You know, if if I just had some catastrophic thing happen to me, it's like a pelt rally. But if we're being successful, we pushing forward, we moving forward, it's like for some reason, some people really don't like it. They don't like you. They don't like nothing about it. And I get that. I get that. I do believe in freedom of thoughts, freedom of speech, and it's your world, whatever you want to do. But man, oh man, it's a lot of, lot of people and it seems to be increasing. And when I look at the news, when I listen to radio, when I watch media, when I look at my news feeds, all of that, I don't see nothing but a lot of negative. It used to be, it's what you click on. But even the algorithm is saying, push this, push this, push this, push this. And if you dare click on it, we're going to flood you with it. And now it's getting so much that I have to scroll and be intentional to try to find positivity. It's almost getting to the part where it's like, we talk about fasting with food. We talk about fasting on the spiritual fast and all of this. It's getting to the part where I'm really seriously thinking about fasting on social media. And I tried that before and it's addictive. I realize that social media thing is addictive because when we wait, we go online. If we wake up in the middle of the night, we might go online. When we're driving, when we're by ourselves, we might go online. Or if we just just making time move, we go online. Then when we relax and sitting down, relax, we online. And the commercials are getting just negative. Our news is nothing but negative. And even when they drop a good positive story, even when they say something positive, it's mixed in and infused in with negative or some type of manipulation. People get mad off of my thumbnails. It's getting so bad that people getting upset. You're doing clickbait. You're a liar. You this, you do this, you do this. You don't live in no woods. What the hell did I live in? Did you not watch the first video when we first cut anything in there? If that ain't woods, I don't know what woods are. Now, if you assume that I'm in a cot, then you'll be like, well, you got a hammock. That ain't no woods. Well, you in an RV. That ain't no woods. Well, you in a tent. That ain't no woods. Well, you, you brought in a cabin, there ain't no woods, man. This, this, this place is getting to the part where the goal is to share positivity, to mm -hmm. share mm -hmm. successes, to share challenges, to be transparent. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's exhausting. And sometimes I try to block out negativity in different ways and different strategies. But man, when you it's getting to the part where I'm 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 deleting and filtering and, and responding to more negative comments than I am positive. Well, it's the videos you sharing, you know, this country this, this country that, uh you as a black man, you as an African American or the white man, the Hispanic man, the, the Jew man, all of this crazy stuff, immigration. And that's why we need to vote this way. We need to do this. And, and the Democrats and the Republicans, man, why everything is negative? No matter what we talk about, let's talk about healthcare. The first thing popping most people's head is something negative. Let's talk about 
food consumption. Most people think about negative. Let's talk about traveling. Let's talk about diversity. Let's talk about nature. Let's talk about the weather. Let's talk about leadership. Everything that we want to talk about now, the world has got to the part where it's just negative, 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 negative. And we've been fed with all of this data and, and negative data that is, for me, I can't speak for you, but for me, it's starting to be, oh, everything is first negative. Your kids need to do this. First thought, caution, negative. I hope this don't happen. You getting ready to go where? I hope that don't happen. Well, did you hear about the last news? Did you understand about it? And then these smart devices are listening to your conversation. You mention a city. You can be talking to a friend. You can be talking to somebody. You don't have nothing on. And you mention a certain city that you never heard of before. And then you repeat that city. Next thing you know, they got everything about that city. In your news feed, getting notifications about that city. You go to Instagram, you see about that city. You go to YouTube, you see about that city. Fable, you see all kinds of stuff about that city. Google, all about the city. And most of the time, it's going to be something starting off negative about that city. The crime, murders, the this, the that, the robberies. The, the immigration, you're going to see everything negative about that city. You won't see the landscape. You won't see the nature walks. You won't see the parks. You, don't, you won't see the neighborhoods. You won't see a lot of stuff. The weather, the positive parts of the weather, it'll be like a hurricane that hit that city. It'll be the storm, the flood that tore up that city. The crime rate, the this, the that. It's so much negative stuff, negative energy. And this, these device radiates energy too. It's so much to the point where I'm watching people who have nothing but positive affirmation, positive energy channels. They even talk about haters and negative energy. Some of these people are real and some of these people are not real. But what's real is the negative energy. And my fam, when I keep saying protect your peace, you're going to have to protect your peace. And my heart goes out to our youth because they coming up in all of this negative, 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 negative energy. My grandbaby, my young kids, they growing up in all this inundated with negative energy. I can't even watch a movie that I can relate to without having some type of deleting people, hurting people, evilness. When the last time have you seen a positive movie from the beginning to the end? No opposition. And people say, well, that don't exist. Well, can the imagination, can the creativity create a place where it can be pure, it can be just beautiful? And then I hear from some friends of mine say, People don't want to watch that. People don't want to know this. I do tests sometimes. I do a negative, a negative post topic or a negative thumbnail. And I get more views than if I show flowers, I show gardening, I show fruits, I show smiles, all of that stuff. People would rather click on me if I show fear in my eyes, crying, than if I just shared some successes, happy times, happy days, and no negative energy. It's almost like I want to bring back those silent films. But even back then, it was violence. It was this or that. But you had your imagination. But I wouldn't mind having like silent films of people just walking down the street. You know, it's getting it's getting so 
to the part where I'm watching videos of people just walking down the street in different, not American streets, but in different countries. Because people walking down the street and you saying the only streets they want to walk down are streets where people have sleep or dozing off off of something that they had in their body. The only streets people want to ride down are streets that has trash and debris. It's just so overwhelming, full of negative, negative energy. And I'm telling you, fam, guard yourself, guard your eyes, guard your mind, guard your life, guard your surroundings. Get you some land. Get you some land away. Some people say, don't do this when you get in your land. Don't do this. Get you some space, fam. Get you some space where you can go and you can manage what comes in and what comes out to the best of your ability. Get you enough space where it's quiet enough for you to hear your heartbeat, for you to hear your eyelashes giving high five to each other. Give enough space where somebody 10 feet from you can hear you fart. Give enough space for you to be one with nature, to re reconnect. Because energy needs to be grounded. Some of this energy needs to be grounded. Go take off your shoe, put your feet in some dirt and get rid of and release this negative energy. Get rid of it and try to do your best to create positive energy wherever you go. You're going to work. Okay, you're going to work. Be positive. You're going to the doctor. Be positive. You're going to the grocery store. Be 